Hi, I'm Thomas DeVito, and this is my game Box Towers. So, my game Box Towers is essentially a game where you, you play as either a pink or blue rectangle and you race to the top of a tower, as explained in these instructions. However, the big gimmick there is that while you're going up this tower, you can ch change what blocks are considered on and off in the game by hitting a certain switch. So, as you can see down here, these are the controls. If you're the pink rectangle, you move with WASD and you hit the switch with Q. And if you're the blue rectangle, you move with the arrow keys and you hit L for the switch. So what are the switches? So if we just jump into one of my pre-made towers here and I walk over to one of these green switches and hit L as the blue character, it makes the blocks that were red outline turn red and the blocks that were red turn into a red outline. And I can just continue doing this. And this is all for the purpose of trying to sabotage your opponent. As this is a multiplayer game and you're racing to the top, your main goal is trying to get your opponent to fall down while you're continuing to go up. And this can lead to some fun competition between friends, where, say, the blue character is right here, and then I hit the switch as green, and now I've made blue fall all the way back down to the start of the stage. So that's the main multiplayer aspect of this game. And that can be seen in the rest of the levels I created. So once you finish the game, you can either play again or hit select stage. For this demonstration, I'll hit select stage. So I have another tower, the scattered tower, which isn't symmetrical. And then the other last pre-made tower is the reverse tower where you're going down. And that's based off the gimmick that if you get stuck in one of these on and off blocks, you get pushed to the top. So you're now pushing the player to the top rather than the bottom. But the other big feature that I have here is these randomized towers. And I have played through this multiple times and not once have I gotten a tower that is not beatable for the randomized towers. And this is just because like there's always a method to get to the top and as you can see here if i go back the tower was different than it was originally so that is my game box towers i hope that if anyone were to stumble across this and play this they'd be able to get some good multiplayer fun out of it just have a good time thank you for watching